Hey there, as everybody knows, the Ruger 10-22 is one of the more customizable rifles out there. And I thought I'd uh, throw my two cents worth in here and show everybody my finally finished custom 10-22 Ruger. It uh, started out as a stock model, as most people have. The first thing I did was uh, take a look at the receiver and see what I could do to spruce it up a little bit so just using a little sandpaper I sanded the black finish off the sides of the receiver to kind of go along with uh, you know the style that I had picked out for the rest of the gun polished it down with some fine grit metal polish got it nice and smooth next thing I did was uh, took a look around at different custom stocks I uh, picked the Stockies Eliminator for one particular reason because the thumb hole was the biggest one that I could find. My hand's a little big and the other one that I had tried uh, just didn't have a big enough thumb hole. So I settled on the uh, Stockies Eliminator which I really like. The last thing I did was customize that stock a little bit with uh, an add-on uh, forearm piece. And I'm really pretty tickled with the way that turned out. This makes it a little bit more unique. On the barrel side, I picked a Green Mountain bull barrel, threaded. Uh, just added a real simple muzzle brake on the on the threaded end, just to give it a little contrast and a little more style. Still a work in progress on the scope. I've got a Burris three to nine that I'm not. 100% satisfied with, so I'm saving my money for a Leopold 3 to 9. A little clearer, higher quality scope. The last customized piece that I did to my 1022 was a. Spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to come up with a logo and a monogram. And I finally uh, designed this logo out of a 5 iron golf club. Polished it down, took it to a jeweler and had him uh, acid etch my monogram into the piece. And I'm really tickled with the way it turned out. Just gives it a little bit more customization. And after looking around for a long time, I finally found a friend of mine that's a gunsmith who was able to uh, work the trigger down to two and a half pounds for me, which really made a huge difference in the shooting. The only other modification I've got to this gun is a, is, a, is a bolt stop which cuts down on that clang a little bit when you're shooting. And I believe that after all that tinkering I finally got this gun the way I want it. And as most people know these high-end barrels really shoot differently depending on what kind of ammo you've got. And I've experimented a lot with a lot of different ammo and believe it or not, a brick of 500 Target 22s that I bought at an auction for $40, it actually happens to be about 40 years old, ended up being about the best shooting ammo that I could find. And I'm going to show you the last group that I shot with this gun last fall with that 40 year old ammo, and that's at 50 yards, 10 shots. And that's my index finger. So the proof is in the pudding there that with a good barrel and a good trigger and a solid base that these guns can knock squirrel's eyes out at 50 yards all day long. That's it. Have a good one.